So, in this video, we'll understand what is a matrix. So, in the previous video, we looked into vectors and uh, a few vector operations like addition, subtraction, also multiplying by a scalar. So, let's say I have two vectors over here A. Okay. I have two vectors over here. This I call it as A and this is B. So imagine there is a, another vector which is a resultant of a, a linear combination of these vectors. Okay. So um, not like simply adding this but a scaled addition. For example, uh, some value like this. Like I'm going to say x plus y, so the two different values. So I'm scaling up a vector by x and b vector by y, and then doing a vector addition, all right? And that comes that gives you c. For 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 this, uh, I can write on the values. So we have the a vector. So let me call this as a. That gives a bit of so this is A and this is B, all right? So A is uh, 2 comma 1 for us. I don't know what is X. And B is 2 by 2, 3, not by 2, 3, okay? And that gives you the C vector, all right? And uh, if, you, if you look at uh, you know, if you just calculate this, it, it just becomes 2x and x plus 2y, 3y and if you add it, then we know we add corresponding things. So, it's actually 2x plus 2y and x plus 3y becomes your c. In, in this case, uh, I don't know c yet. Okay. Let's assume that c is uh, something like 6 and 5, okay, so C is 6 and 5, so kind of this, 6 and 5, this is your C vector, okay, and um, this exact same thing can be represented by using matrix method, so I can represent this as something like, um, let me write it down over here, like this 2, 2, 1, 3, and then x, y is equal to 6 and 5. Okay? And if you do a matrix multiplication, uh, this is actually called as matrix. Okay? And uh, if you simply do the matrix multiplication, if you remember 2 into x plus 3 into y, sorry, 2 into x plus 2 into y. And the second item would be 1 into x into y. So exactly what you get is this, right? So what you have just done, we have represented a problem which you like to solve, right? Try to find a linear combination of uh, a and b vectors with some kind of scale of values x and y, which results in a new vector c, which, which is 6 and 5, all right? And we have put that problem in one simple box. We call it as matrix. And you could imagine matrix is a kind of putting all similar problems together in a box. If you solve this, then all of your problems have answers. In our case, we get the values of x and y. And solving this is pretty simple. In fact, I've taken it proportionally. X is x is your, your 2 and y is 1. I can solve it by just simultaneous equation by, by equating this. Or if it's a, a more complex method, so we can use this, if you call this as an A matrix, I can inverse the matrix, multiply with this, and then you get the answers. Boom, straightforward. All right. So we will look at this matrix inverse and other operations, multiplications of the matrix in the next videos. And this is the idea of matrix. And of course, matrix has many other different uh, purposes, but this is one of the purposes which you can see that a, a problem is put it in, in a matrix form. If you solve this matrix, you get the answers for this x and y. Okay. In the next video, we look into matrix, uh, different operations of the matrix.